Police and armed forces rushed to a tank battalion base just outside Georgia's capital, Tbilisi, following reports of an armed mutiny and a refusal to follow orders. The situation now seems under control. Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili rushed to the base and appeared shortly afterwards on television to denounce the plotters. We are considering this as a serious challenge, but at the same time I want to say that this is an isolated incident because the situation did not change in any other military base. Military bases across Georgia are on alert and the situation is under control. The ministry released footage of men allegedly discussing a planned military coup. The rebellion occurred after an announcement from the Georgian Interior Ministry that it had uncovered a plot to overthrow the government. At a hastily convened press conference, the Interior Ministry accused Russia of being behind the plot. The plan was to have the military riots at different places all over Georgia uh, to make sure that at, at the minimum the NATO trainings in Georgia uh, to what happened and the maximum that there is a full-scale military riot in the country. The Georgian president, however, has faced growing internal opposition in recent months with widespread street protests against his government. Had the coup succeeded, say the Georgians, the coup plotters would have had the backing of 5,000 Russian troops and planned to disrupt a major NATO exercise in the former Soviet Republic. The Russians had already condemned the planned exercises as muscle flexing. And this only barely nine months after conflict between Russia and Georgia ended. Mark Seddon, Al Jazeera.